So the name of today's game is called Torture House and it comes from Spring Rabbit, one of my favorite indie devs over on itch.io. So I'm pretty sure this game is going to be great just like the others. Let's jump in here and let's actually check it out. I'm exhausted after this trip. I just want to go to my room and put my things away. My key has the number 107. Okay. Here's our here's our fellow our fellow Ashley. That's her name, right? Or did I just forget already? Bro, I love Spring Rabbit's games. There we go. It's my room, 107. It's locked. The key is in my pocket. Okay, let's reach for the key. Open the door with your face. Nice. I'm finally here. Where's the bedroom? I can't carry this backpack anymore. I should put my things away in this bedroom before checking the rooms. Caution, maintenance in progress. This room is isolated for maintenance. For your safety, please do not enter. Nope, that's sketchy. That is very sketchy. Okay, if you say so. This is the room? Put the backpack down. She got a Jansport on. Bro, I used to rock those in high school. That's it. Now I can finally read that letter. Dear Victoria, I hope this letter finds you well. How are things going? It's been a while since I've heard from you. So I decided to send another letter. You're always in a different place all the time. So it's hard to know your exact address. In your last letter, you mentioned receiving a proposal from a magazine. I hope things are going well. Just don't get discouraged. I know things aren't easy for you, girl. And how hard it and how hard it is to find opportunities for this type of work that isn't that isn't, you know, men's magazines. Your friend always asks about you. You should write that you should write to them too. I always hear them telling others how you took how you took your car and set off for an adventure to chase your dreams of being a model, like in Hollywood movies. Oh, I guess now I know why you don't write to them. I know you don't want to disappoint them. Mom and dad are fine. Mom misses you and dad doesn't talk much about you. You know he, you know how he disapproves of your idea, but he loves you, and I love you too. Future Miss America, with love from your sister, Lauren. What a great letter. W sister, I miss you all. Oh, whoa. Thunderstorm coming in. I've been on the road for like four hours. I have to take a shower. This game is going to get real crazy. I don't have anyone to call right now. Okay, let's take a shower, which would be this one, right? Oh, look, we have a reflection. Looking in the mirror makes me nervous. Am I pretty enough? Will they like me? It's better for me not to put these things in my head. I know I'll manage. You look just fine. Look in the camera. Yeah, you just need to take a shower. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna take a bath. Never mind. Where's my legs at? She's standing up against the wall.
Uh oh. What was that? That's some dirty water. And I know you're not that dirty, girl. Did you even scrub yourself? She says, ouch. She stepped on a key. A key? Must be to that maintenance room, huh? Wait, why would a key be in the bathroom? I need to get to my I need to get my clothes up from my backpack. Alright. I feel sketchy already. Look at her in this towel. <laughs> All right, let's put these clothes on. What? Where are my clothes? I, I haven't, I can't have forgotten them. This can't be happening. Uh, I'll buy something to wear tomorrow and put this one in the wash. I think I can wear this for one more night. Bro, he came in. What the heck was that? He came in his room and stole her clothes. So much for taking a shower. You smell the same once again. Watch TV. Or not. <laughs> she just sat there. It's almost empty. I should stay here for more days than I expected, so I'll need to buy some things to eat. I'll think about it later. I still have some snacks in my backpack. So, uh oh, here we go. No Pico? Hello? Wait, did I call her Ashley? So I think our name is Victoria. I think I called her Ashley earlier. <laughs> Someone stuck a note to the door. Due to heavy rain, we need to isolate the parking garage to prevent flooding tonight. Everything will be back to normal by morning. So everything's going to happen tonight. Whatever's happening will be happening tonight. Go back inside. I don't like how floppy my door is. Can we lock it? You got a key. Is this key for this door, right? Maybe. It is. Hold on. Before we do that, is this the letter we used? Our red? Okay, it is. We read that one. Look at this. The TV remote's right here. Let's look at some TV before we go any further. A table with some tools. Yeah, let's check out the TV. Use the remote, maybe? No? We have a health bar. We can die in this game? Bro, I just seen our health bar to our bottom right. I didn't see that the first time. This makes the game that much scarier already. Girl, turn the TV on. It's off. Doesn't look like it has power. It look, doesn't look like it has a power button. I need a remote to turn it on. We have that right now. There we go. Check the size, of course, with 48,000 square feet of floor space. And this is also the hangout for a new breed, the Urban Cowboy. I'll give you my interpretation. Okay. It's getting dark. Uh, or maybe she's falling asleep. Yeah, she's falling asleep. She is knocked out. Damn, I must have fallen asleep. That you did. Want to go to bed? Nope. She had her nap. 
Let's get back to it in here then. The doorknob must be jammed. I shouldn't go inside there anyway. It was just in there. I should have tried to climb that ladder. Now I can't go in. I don't need to take a shower again. You need to let that water out. I can't go in other people's rooms. Okay. Maybe let's let's go look around. We didn't check our surroundings before. She run pretty fast. I don't need to use the stairs. Can't go there. So there's no reason for us to be out in the hallway. Oh, I was just out there. No way you're at the door. No one. Oh my. Oh, it's not, it's not done. M my arms. Wait, he took off our arms. I can't move them. Okay, they're not off. I thought our arms was gone. She's being buried alive. She's getting, wait, what? She's getting flooded alive. This is crazy. Bro, that is the craziest death that I've ever seen. Oh, she broke out. Why was he so tall? Well, looks like you took that bath for no reason. That shower for no reason. Sure, let's say it's extremely dirty and it stinks of piss. <laughs> An old, a dusty old machine. I have no idea what this is for. It seems to have a chain to make, the chain making it work. I better not touch it while it's in motion. Okay. Wait, I could just walk around here? No way. No. And I'm on camera. Oh no, he's coming. Auditions. All the spotlights are on you. Now you're an actress. And your fans are eager to see you perform. Eyes are watching you from all directions. Live the spectacle. Sometimes it's necessary to give your life to the theater. Complete your scene. And you're one step closer to becoming an actress. Fail and nobody will miss a mediocre actress. Script. Alice chased the rabbit through the forest until she fell into its hole. She found herself in a room with a small door but Alice wonders how she will manage to get through it. This is a challenge she still needs to solve. Uh oh. So this is, this is the, this is the audition she thought she was going to. It's really, it's really already here. It's full of chicken wire, bro. Wait. Okay. Perfect. What is this? It seems to be a kind of painkiller. PE experimental reduction and combat of physical and mental distress. Increase in serotonin and noradrenaline levels to combat mental distress. 
and stabilize the individual, along with the other substances recertified for mood stabilization and anxiety relief, combat physical pain and aids the healing and prop and recovering of the individual, sharpens the senses, bringing about a temporary ultra focus effect, side effect. Organism rejections may cause hallucinations, numbness, and in the long term, significant loss of vocal cords, panic attack seizures, and whoa, psychosis. And then you still take them. Flip it. It's not working. Okay. We'll do this. Locked. We're in the next room. We got a balance across. What's this door? Locked. What does it say? The rabbit seems restless. Euphoric frequently checking his watch as he ran through the valley of uncertainty. After crossing paths with Alice, his instincts was to run faster and faster. The more he ran, the more distorted the sound seemed. The more distorted, the most, the more distorted his surrounding appeared until the blink of an eye, an obstacle appeared in his path. Only the rapid scream echoed and could be heard by Alice. Soon, a lesson she had learned. When a fragile body has to run, it can only bring more obstacles. He's behind me. He's behind me. And the door closed. He was behind me. We got one. One, four, five, seven. What? We took a key. There's another piece of script stuck to the door. Alice found herself trapped in that world, devoid of faith. The sky, the sky was falling. She looked all around, but her key had shattered into pieces around her. Her hand has been cut by the first fragment, leaving a blood stain, followed by one more intense pain from the second fragment that fell near the first one. Her escape was right in front of her. While, while she was consumed by hatred, <sighs> suffocated by the fragments of her key that seemed to mock her situation, was a delirium or just a frenzy of madness that sighted from a from the path. It looks like it has a lock. Okay, and I'm timed. Great. Great. So it's um maybe four one four one five seven four one five seven four five one seven. There we go. I almost died. That was easy enough. So I have a key, right? I don't want to take the pain pills. Wait, he actually hit me or no? I think he did, huh? So it's not to that door. This is the door I went through the first time, isn't it? Okay, so it goes he here. It's full of old papers and documents on it. I can't read much. There's a photo of a girl tied up with a gun to her head. She looks devastated. There's other photos of a girl tied up with tape around her arms and mouth. Why are those monsters doing this to me? I need to get out of this place. Yeah, that's what we're trying. Nothing in here. There's another key. Wait. 
Collected machinery room key. It's locked. Oh, that was the key to it. We got a screwdriver. Great. We're making good we got making good plays. It's locked. Maybe you could lock pick it. Okay, that's not the case. Get back out of here. Make sure I keep saving it because I don't know when he's going to come out and kill me. Is this the machinery room? It is. The chain is missing. It's very rusty. It seems like it hasn't been working for years. So... How do I get back in here? Oh. We lock picking this one. Oh my god, I thought I heard him. There's a wire mesh blocking the way. It looks like there's a camera on the other side. It's just watching. What's down there, though? Wait, what? Oh, this is back through here. And if I go through that door, it's going to take me through the hole. So, how do I turn this off? Just jam it. Okay. Great. Can we take our screwdriver back or the true screwdriver just stuck in the gear? Why did I just fumble saying screwdriver? Let's get a save in. Let's go. Back through here. Which one is it? Is it this one? It's this one, I think, right? Yeah, put it on there. What is this for now? I know, I know he's here. He has to be. What's happening? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Do I flip that switch? And here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my goodness. No way. No way. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. He almost got me. He almost got me. Oh my goodness. That was getting crazy. That was the torture house. We'll be back for part two whenever it drops. Subscribe if you are new because I play all horror games over here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.